Hi Aquarius, welcome to your end of July love connection reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much. And if you are new, please do check the description box below. Any and all information that you need is down there. So please, please do go check that out. Would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. And just before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have tipped or donated as an energy exchange to my channel is very, very much appreciated. I could not do it without you guys. And I truly love to do this though. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, so this is for Aquarius. Love connection reading end of July. I hope everybody's doing well. Okay, so this is a Zodiac Oracle. So we will get possibly who you may be dealing with for some of you. And whatever comes out here, if it does not resonate, that's totally fine. The rest of the reading may be for you. So I would suggest you keep watching. All right, so let's see for Aquarius. We may get a sign, element, or planet energy. What kind of energy is around Aquarius? The end of July for this love connection reading, please, Spirit. One card, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, and we have Pisces. So some of you may be dealing with the Pisces. If not, that's totally fine, or perhaps your person could have Pisces somewhere in their chart, their moon sign, rising sign, Venus sign, or something like that. Or you could even have Pisces in your chart. Either way, and if not, that's totally fine. Okay, and this reading is for anybody you have in mind in any type of connection. And we will see what comes out here, and hopefully this resonates for you. All right, so let's get an overall energy of what your love connection feels like for the end of July. For Aquarius, love connection reading for the end of July. What is the main energy of their love connection? Okay, so this is community, and it's number seven, and seven is a very divinely guided number. And this community card, though, like in tarot, it reminds me of the Three of Cups, which is about you know, re reconciliation, reuniting, coming back together, celebrating. But in this deck, it's about um, a spiritual community. So what I'm getting with this is you could have met this person through um, your spiritual community, your faith community, your religious community, or something like that. Or you have a very spirit, you feel like you have, or there is a very spiritual connection between you and this person or this could be an energy of reuniting and coming back together so I don't know we'll see see how that plays out all right so and that could be you know whatever storyline there resonates for you that just could be um, different for every person okay so or all of the above. <laughs> okay, so Aquarius, how are you feeling? I only want one. How are you feeling towards your person? How are you feeling in this connection? Aquarius, please, for the end of July. Can we have one card for Aquarius? And that one. Okay, we have Goddess of the Moon. So, and the moon does represent Cancer or Pisces. Wow, so you could definitely be dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces. Or uh, Pisces tend to be very intuitive and in tune and in touch and that sort of thing. So the goddess of the moon is someone who is, in, who is very um, enlightened, who is in touch, in tune, spiritual, and that sort of thing. And we have 52 again with seven. So we have two confirmations here of something divinely guided here seven and maybe you know like deep down within you you have that maybe you're ahead of this person and you have the spiritual spirituality aspect of the connection already 
and um, I feel like it is, you know, like you know it's divinely guided here because you have seven and seven confirming that. It almost reminds me of the high priestess energy. I feel like you're very in tune and in touch with your emotions, how you feel, um, and that kind of thing. So let's see how your person is feeling towards you and this connection financial constraints okay so there may, may be something right now where um, and you have one and three which equals four which is about the basis foundation stability so something right now is constraining their stability uh, their foundation something they're having financial issues right now so it may be preventing this uh, union coming in all right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Darts of value. And we have, th wow, so <laughs> we have double confirmation here. Look at that. It's like a mirror image. One, three, three, one. Wow. <laughs> wow. And then you have 52, seven. Wow. That is just crazy how you're mirroring the top, the first card I pulled, and now they're mirroring the bottom of the deck. That is just crazy. 31, dart to value. So I think they're really trying to um, get through these financial constraints. They could be looking um, for a new avenue, like a new job, a new career path, something where it's more abundant. And, you know, if you're a female watching this for, you know, when this person here is a male or it doesn't have to be, you know, sometimes like the masculine energy, whether it's a female, masculine, mas male, masculine, whatever it is for you, uh, the masculine type of energy, they don't feel secure into coming into union or in some, some kind of a connection if they're not financially stable. That's just how the masculine energy works. So they're really, really trying to find, um, I feel, getting their stability and their finance, finances back in track, uh, back on track. And they also may feel maybe, um, Maybe they're feeling that they're also lacking value. Maybe they're having uh, self-esteem issues right now also, but then maybe they're trying to work through that. And it could be because of these financial constraints. I don't know, we'll see what the situation is. We'll see what's going on. All right. And if they're not a water sign, um, finances and material and things like that is the uh, pentacle energy, earth energy, so they could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. All right, so let's see. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. We'll get some tarot on this now to clarify. All right, so why is the goddess of the moon here for... Aquarius, I feel like you, you're very, um, I feel like you're very stable, you're very in tune, you're in touch, you're connected to source, um, that's too many, and that sort of thing, and maybe intuitively you know, because sevens are also about, in uh, the tarot, like the seven of pentacles, about waiting, patience, so, you know, maybe deep down also with the seven, you know you need to have patience with this person. You, need, you know, you know you probably have to wait for them until they're ready. All right, so this came like flying out, but it is the page of pentacles and it came down in reverse. So again, I had said that they could be an earth sign. So you have them in your heart and they definitely indeed could be an earth sign here. This is the page of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn falling under you in reverse. So I think you intuitively know here that now is not the time to come forward to them with any kind of solid offer, whatever it may be, because they're just not feeling secure and stable right now. So I think you intuitively know, you're trusting your gut and your instinct and your emotions and your feelings, knowing it is best to wait before uh, offering anything, or you know it's best to wait until they come and offer you something but right now that offer is in reverse so it's not happening right now okay so let's see what's going on with your person why do they have financial constraints ace of swords so this is uh, Libra Gemini Aquarius so now <laughs> wow that is your energy 
So this is having a big realization, epiphany. I think they finally uh, came to the truth, the heart of the matter. They know now what kind of connection this is. They've been enlightened. They've had that big awakening. Um, they see with truth and clarity. Um, this is your energy, so uh, they definitely have you on their mind. As you see, this, you know, brains are showing here. <laughs> so, wow. So they, you, you're definitely on their mind. And they want this brand new beginning with you. Ace is about brand new beginnings. <clears throat> but you see the crown, you know, just has some leaves off of it right now. So I really feel like when they're stable and ready, they will come forward. It's just that they're not feeling stable and ready right now. But they have truth, clarity, and they know what I think they know you're their person. They've had that awakening. You know, their brains blew up. I don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> yep, they, they realize now, but they are trying to get their stability. All right, so let's see what the actual situation is now. So we have the Hierophant. We have the Page of Swords. And we have the King of Wands. Wow. So, the Hierophant Taurus, Page of Swords, that's your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, King of Wands here, uh, Leo, Sag, Aries. So, I mean, we have, no, we don't have cups yet, so I can't say all the signs are here yet, but attaching to you here in the actual situation is the Hierophant. So, again, that's the faith, it's spirituality that's morality, that's, um, you know, doing things just and right, uh, commitment, marriage, you know, all kind of things like that. So I, you see them as this person that, you know, you intuitively know you're, you're like a high priestess here that you will have commitment with this person in the future, but right now the time isn't right. So you, you know that you're following your faith, your spirituality and your higher knowing that this is your person. You will have commitment, maybe even marriage in the future but it's just not happening right now. So connecting the two of you is the Page of Swords. So I feel like, and that is your energy, but it's connecting the two of you. So you may be, you know, keeping tabs on one another, watching each other's social media and that sort of thing. You could have little communication back and forth, um, you know, messaging, texting, maybe short phone calls here and there. Uh, just a little communication to keep the connection going, but nothing uh, in depth. Um, you know, just keeping tabs on one another. A lot of truth and clarity, though, between the two of you here. And then connecting to them is the King of Wands. So, yeah, they're definitely here. They definitely feel, feel passionate towards you. That's definitely their energy towards you. And um, they're definitely trying to get back into their King of Wands power, you know, trying to get back their stability, trying to get back their zest for life, their passion, their uh, strength and courage. You know, you see the fire here is just a little bit disconnected from the wand. So they're a little bit disconnected right now. Their fire is there, but it's not like totally connected yet. Um, so yeah, they're working on that. They're working on that. And then I do feel, you know, this truthful communication, more in depth, truthful communication will take place because they also have the Ace of Swords. Um, but right now it's just a little tiny communication, you know, just to keep the connection going. So let's see what your advice is Aquarius moving forward. So we have the Three of Cups. And we have the Page of Wands. So this deck has just two cards where there's two of um, those cards and one, I forgot the other one, I think it's the Nine of Wands and the Three of Cups. One is black and white and one is in color. So this, the black and white one here to me, your advice the Three of Cups, is like keep picturing and imagining and dreaming, you know, coming together, reuniting with this person, like sort of like manifesting this reunion this celebration, this coming of, you know, coming back together. Cause this seems like a very dream state to me. It's not in color. It's kind of black and white, you know, kind of like, you know, not really reality, but not really, you know, false either. Just kind of like a dreamy kind of state. So, you know, keep thinking and manifesting about your person, wishing them well, about, you know, them being 
stable enough, strong enough, you know, to finally reunite and come back together with you and have some good times and celebrate. And then also we have the page of wands. So this is, you know, communication. So keep the communication going. Um, just page of wands, so light and flirty uh, kind of energy, you know, just to keep the connection going, you know. So don't block their communication. Don't uh, stop the communication. Just a little bit here and there, you know, truthful, honest, flirty, fun, passionate, a little bit, you know to keep the fire lit within them. So they also desire to reunite with you so we can turn this black and white into color. All right, so let's see what the possible outcome may be for you Aquarius in this situation. The devil, so this is Capricorn energy. Oh. <clears throat> so, you know, this can speak of toxicity uh, addictions, obsessions, um, very strong, could be a very strong soulmate bond here. Um, you know, hopefully it's not karmic, but a uh, very strong bond. So the, you know, I think you'll be bonded for, you're bonded for life here, I feel, with this devil energy. Um, so the outcome is I do see you coming together. I think you'll be bonded for life, but don't let it get into a very toxic devil <clears throat> kind of energy like oh well I can't live without you kind of energy or I would die without you you know so just be mindful of that so let's get some clarification let's get some clarification why is the page of pentacles in reverse we kind of know that five of wands conflict yeah you know if you come forward right now with an offer even a small offer for stability, commitment, growth, moving forward, you know it's going to cause some conflict right now because they are not ready yet. They are not ready yet. So this is conflict. It could be inner conflict. You know, maybe you're conflicted. Do I want to reach out? Do I want to offer something? Maybe that's why the Page of Pentacles is in reverse. But I think, I think if you do right now, it's just going to cause some conflict with them. Um because of what they're going through. All right, so the Ace of Swords for them, the Queen of Pentacles. Wow, and I had said, I mean, it can be king, queen or king. I felt like maybe you could be dealing with an earth sign if they're not Pisces or they could have both in their chart. And now we have the Queen of Pentacles, which is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So right, they're working on their stability right now. They're trying to get their finances in check. They're trying to get their foundation rebuilt uh, strong and sturdy again so they can build forward with you so they can offer you this pentacle here definitely working definitely working on their financial constraints and raising their value so they have more to give you when they come forward wow all right so the hierophant why is the hierophant here the sun exactly <laughs> leo energy here but it doesn't have to be so I had said here, here, success, happiness, joy, fulfillment, contentment, enlightenment, uh, success and victory, you know, happy home and family, most positive card here. So, yeah, you know that intuitively, you know, like I had said, you see, you know, commitment with this person in the future, maybe even marriage. And there's a confirmation there of the total happiness, joy, success and victory with this person. Wow. So the Page of Swords connecting the two of you is the star, right? So you both are each other's wishes coming true. And this is your energy, Aquarius. So having that faith, hope, optimism by keeping the connection alive, by a little bit of communication between the two of you now and then, and uh, keeping the dream alive, keeping the wish alive, wishes coming true in the end because you have the star and the sun. Wow. Can't get any better than that. So keep the hope alive. Keep the faith alive. Optimism alive. Healing energy. Send healing energy to them. Heal yourself if you need to also as you're waiting for them. And this is a very divinely guided. Could be soulmate or twin flame energy here between the two of you. Wow. 
So we'll get more clarifiers, but I want to go on the bottom of the deck now. Okay, so the King of Wands, we have, for under their energy, the Four of Cups. Right, so they're feeling kind of melancholy and bored right now. Um, not really bored, but just kind of like blah. This is my blah card, like just kind of blah. You know, they are kind of like, ugh, I just don't know what to do. I'm not, I, you know, I want to move forward with this person. I'm afraid we might lose the connection, but I don't feel confident and stable and strong enough yet. And just feeling like, blah, in, right now in their situation. So your advice, you have the Three of Cups. And then we have the Knight of Cups. So again, you know, this is the, you know, taking action towards, you know, somebody with love, affection, and that sort of thing. But I definitely feel here, especially with the star, and how I felt th this Three of Cups was not in color, it's black and white, more of like a dreamy state, is, you know, do that manifestation work, law of attraction work, of imagining, you know, reuniting, coming back together with this person, but also sending them, you know, your energy, your love, your emotions, your healing energy, um, and that sort of thing to help them in their process here. And with the Page of Wands, we have the Seven of Wands. So, yep, so this is, you know, you, you want to keep fighting for this connection. You know, this is like defending the connection. It's like, you know, I have a hold of them. I feel them in my heart. And I don't want to give up on this connection. So this is like you defending your connection with them. Like you're not giving up on it the page of wands energy and that's where this communication comes in just you know a little bit here and there light fun flirty you know airy you are an air sign so the possible outcome we have the devil so we have the knight of pentacles so the devil with the knight of pentacles that's an interesting energy so i definitely feel like this is a definitely a soul you know deep soulmate connection here and Knight of Pentacles here is a very long, stable connection here. This is, you know, long, steady, hard work and practice, uh, slow moving energy here. So the outcome is with the Knight of Pentacles, it will take time, a lot of time that will require your patience. So um, don't let the devil get the best of you and rush it too much, you know, rush it forward faster than it's meant to happen. Just have patience, you know, work on it slowly. Baby steps, I feel, with this person as they regain their stability and their foundation and their structure. I don't know what they've been through. I'm not getting any, um, like, divorce. Or maybe they just lost their job recently and they're just not feeling, you know, up to snuff right now. Could be anything. So the overall energy on the bottom of the deck now is we have the five I'm trying to five of pentacles so you know this is feeling abandoned and again you know maybe they lost their job here five of pentacles feeling uh and the train just went by and blew their horn so <laughs> confirmation um maybe they just lost, lost their job and they're feeling sad and lonely and abandoned and left out in the cold and that's that kind of energy you know they're just feeling very lost and confused right now but, I mean, underneath that, we have the Nine of Cups. So there will be wish fulfillment, dreams coming true for them, perhaps, in this connection. Because you also have the star, two um, energies here of wishes and dreams coming true for the future. And now we have the Nine of Wands. So, yep, long, hard battle here. I feel like maybe they've been through the ringer um, here. And also willing to fight for this connection you know it's been a hard battle with you maybe in this person but you're not what you don't want to give up because you have the seven and the nine of wands so not giving up keep on going keep, you know willing to put in the hard work and to keep fighting here because wish fulfillment will come they just feel lack and loss right now because of I feel maybe they've lost um, a job or something like that but then we have the magician. So yeah, manifesting, Gemini Virgo, ma manifesting new beginnings here. You, them, together, 
manifesting a brand new beginning. So I definitely feel like you both want this beginning here. Definitely with the magician here. And it will happen. It's just going to be a hard struggle and fight for them personally, for this connection. It's going to take a lot of time and patience. But dreams will come true. Wishes will come true. And pentacle energy here, you know, is there for the long haul. Willing to put in the hard work, but a very slow building energy. So just be patient. All right. All right. I'm just curious what was under here to see. Oh, I don't think that fits in here. I don't feel that kind of energy. All right. So let's get some guidance for you. Or maybe they could have been uh, some sort of deceit in the job or career they were in. And that's why they lost a job for some reason. Something maybe went down. And maybe that's where the nine of wands comes in. What a hard fight there, you know, maybe, I don't know. All right. I'm not getting any sense of like they just came out of a divorce or a relationship or something like that. Um, I just feel like maybe you're just dating right now, but maybe, you know, it's on hold because of, you know, Maybe, like I said, they just lost their job or something like that. All right, so let's get some guidance for you, Aquarius, moving forward in this connection. We have one card for Aquarius, some guidance. Okay, so we have the star, number 17, and that is eight, which is about action, travel, communication. And then we have the queen of cups. So this is water energy, and that's the Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So... Queen of Cups, a lot of love and emotions and feelings. Definitely a lot of love, emotions, and feelings between the two of you. I definitely can feel that. Um, and, you know, you will get communication, uh, more communication with this person. The start here, I believe, is about bringing in news, uh, bringing in something new. Um, you know, the start usually makes a delivery, but I'm not sensing anything like a delivery of a baby or anything like that. But uh, they're usually the deliverer of some news here. And you notice they're nesting and building a nest. So there will be slow, steady growth here with this person. There is a lot of love and emotions. And there will be communication, one and seven, eight, when uh, they rebuild their foundation here. And the sun is shining once again for them because you have the sun over here. Wow. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck for you, Aquarius. So we have, wow, the Golden Palace. And this is like li living a life of luxury. So they may even find something here in the future that is even suited better for them. They may be, may be making more money. They may have more to offer you here. This is like a, a Golden Palace. And then you have one and nine, which is ten. Tens are completions, <clears throat> but then one is always a new beginning. So I feel like, I definitely feel like they had just lost something. There was an ending here. Maybe they had a long-term job or career or something here. And maybe they're going in a whole different path. One brand new beginning for them, for this connection. Six of Swords here. Air energy, you know, leaving everything behind, no longer serving. All that turbulence, all that negative crap, leaving it all behind. And going into a much better, calmful, peaceful harmonious, balanced place, calmer waters, going very much into a better place. And having, wow, this golden palace. Wow. And I feel like they will be able to offer that to you, but time and patience and slow building is necessary. Wow. And then under that, we have the cross. And usually in this deck, it means, you know, bearing the burdens of others. And that sort of thing. But to me, when I see this cross, it just reminds me of um, commitment, like the church commitment and that sort of thing. So that could be, that's how I'm reading it. So this could be that commitment again coming in in the future with the Hierophant energy. That's the energy I get with this. Six of Wands, that's a victory success. Nine again with the wishes coming true. And there he is bearing his all to you once he's stable secure and he's feeling very strong and passionate 8 28 10 again endings one new beginnings what's the new beginning ace of cups brand new beginning in love wow 
Is this what your masculine looks like? Because I am jealous. <laughs> yep. So, yep, there he is, bearing his all, bearing his chest, his masculinity, his strength, his courage, his passion, his love once he's stable and secure, having this brand new beginning of love, commitment, and having this abundance with this person in this golden palace. Wow, Aquarius. I do believe that was like that. Wow. Aquarius. Wow. So... If this doesn't resonate for you, you can check the description box below for a past playlist. Maybe something will resonate for you more from the past. Um, and if you do like how I read you, like my style, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. It would be greatly appreciated. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love, so please don't miss out on that. And uh, thank you so much. And um, good luck to you here with your person and sending you many light love and blessings and as i always always say with my channel as with the sun energy here is to always always shine your light